Hi. Let's have a look at the uh, definitions that uh, are relevant to processes. First, the definition of a process. Now, there is the software engineering vocabulary, which happens to be an international standard, but also is available um, online as a, uh, as you say, an electronic standard, if you will. Now, their definition of a process is a set, I'll read it, a set of interrelated or interacting activities which transforms inputs into outputs. Now, that's their definition of a uh, process that uh, underpins a lot of the process-based standards within uh, ISO. A different definition comes from the Oxford English Dictionary, which um, in fact talks about the fact of going on or being carried on as, in, as an action or a series of actions progress or a course. So they're talking about a process, not in terms of activities and tasks and inputs and outputs, but merely as something that continues, something that goes on. In either of them, or in both of them, there is a sense of multiple activities combining in some fashion to achieve some end. Now that, uh, that is not a bad way of looking at it. It's not a singular thing, it's a collection of things that are uh, I guess, um, collected for a particular purpose. Um, now later, possibly, we can have some discussion about uh, just what that purpose is. Uh, certainly, when I've had a look at what the definition of a process is, uh, the original definition from the SE vocab, that is the transformation of inputs into outputs, is quite restrictive because it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily allow me to think about all the other things that are involved in the process such as decisions and, and the environment and um, uh, mechanisms, supporting mechanisms and things like that. As a consequence, I prefer uh, a definition which is, is in fact quite loose, and that is, it's, it's, a collect it's, it's something over which um, several people collaborate to achieve some particular goal. Well, that's, you could argue that's not a very useful process either. Um, Okay, but let's have a look at, uh, we'll break it down, because we have a process, but within that, in order to be useful, we have to also talk about what makes up a process, and the first thing that makes them up is activities. So you get a process is made up of multiple activities. Now, an activity, again, from the SE vocab, is a defined body of work to be performed, including its required input and output information. It's a set of cohesive tasks of a process. Now, that's an interesting concept, a set of cohesive tasks. So an activity is not, uh, I'll, I'll hasten to say, an activity is not a procedure, it's not a, it's not a series of steps and things to be done, it's simply a, a, a cohesive set of tasks. Now you can think of that in, uh, as an example, um, uh, configuration management, um, which is in fact a process itself, um, but it you could argue that that's a, a collection of tasks, a, a related collection of tasks. There's also um, something like um, to conduct a review. And so if you're going to review some output, that's an activity. It's not a singular thing. It could be um, you have to plan the activity, you have to organize the people, you have to arrange uh, to actually conduct the activity, you have to collect it all together. It's multiple tasks, they, they have some arrangement and there's not necessarily a sequence to them. Similarly, all the activities in a process are not necessarily arranged in any particular sequence and they do not necessarily achieve any of the goals uh, of the process themselves, but collectively they all do. And this is because processes do have um, kind of emergent outcomes as much as anything else. So that's an activity. It's a it's a collection of uh, cohesive collection of tasks to achieve something. Now, a task. When you get down to it, you say, right, well, how far do we go? Well, the task is a required, recommended, or permissible action. It's it's about as atomic as you want to get. It's it's as fine a um, um, breakdown as as you want to get in this particular process. Now that then gets to the arbitrariness of these divisions because in um, in terms of process granularity, the question of what's a process, what's a sub-process, what's an activity, what's a task, 
And uh, I've got some sympathy for anybody who's struggling with this because um, there are, um, in, in different circumstances, different organizations would have a whole set of processes, for example. Uh, they may well, um, oh, for example, there may well be a lot of people involved in collecting the requirements uh, because that's, that's a pretty big deal. So there's a whole lot of things. And yet other organizations, um, their, their main focus is not the requirements, it's simply get those in the contract, but they have a lot of uh, expertise in, in, for example, uh, developing the architecture. So their architecture processes will be a, a decomposed collection of processes. So the granularity varies and can vary according to the organization. There's not a set granularity. Um, and I've, I've uh, generally found it uh, useful to, to uh, set granularity pretty much the same way as you design components in a software system. It depends on the cohesion and coupling of them. When there's too much coupling, you've probably got to you know, put them together a bit. Um, when, when they are not cohesive, you probably need to break them apart a bit. It does seem to depend on uh, also on the, the uh, coordination between um, between parties or things within the process. When you have a lot of formal coordination, you're probably looking at separate processes. And by formal coordination, I mean the exchange of plans, um, the exchange of um, artifacts, uh, formal meetings, uh, as opposed to informal coordination, which is where you simply, you simply talk to someone else, and there's no, not necessarily a formal record of that uh, talking to you. It's just as a kind of mutual adjustment. So when you can get things done with just informal coordination, that is mutual adjustment of talking to everybody, you're probably talking about a single coherent process. If there's a lot of coordination through more formal means, like the exchange of artifacts, the exchange of uh, minutes, meetings, uh, specifications, standards, things like that, you're probably talking about separate processes. But it really is, and I stress, it really is up to the organization and the circumstance that they're in. So in summary then, processes, for working purposes, processes are a collection of activities that achieve some end. They transform um, inputs into outcomes or outputs. They're made up of activities, and activities in turn are made up of tasks. So that decomposition, that will serve us reasonably well in this particular course.